Hey everybody, this is Dan Kiel from Oak Point Tool Company. I've got this uh, a one horse Baldor electric motor that I picked up at an auction, a farm auction last weekend. And uh, uh, it's pretty dirty, it looked a little banged up, but I thought I'd give a shot at it and, and uh, uh, see if it was working. And I just, uh, I got a new cord on here so I could test it out. And uh, I just did that a minute ago and I looked at it and there's some, uh, uh, it looks like the fan shroud in the back. Is bashed in on the on the fan and it's creating some noise and it looks like someone just threw away this motor just because of that so I'll uh, turn the camera around show you what it looks like and what it sounds like and we'll see if we can fix it all right here it is it had this little bit of a cord sticking out of here it said 115 volts on it only but I checked out the uh, wiring diagram that was there and made sure it was actually hooked up that way before I, I went ahead and tested it and then uh, attached a new cord on there just to, to test her out and see what it does but uh, I've got it plugged in right here and we'll fire it up and you can see how it spins and see what kind of noise it makes and right there you can see this is kind of the the bashed up section it fires up real fine it I didn't hear any other noises besides uh, this fan shroud actually uh, rubbing up against that fan. So I'll take that off, see if I can break it back out and get this thing fixed up so it actually runs quietly and, and quickly the way it's supposed to. Alright, I got this thing all unplugged now, so let's make sure that we're actually working on this when... There's no power attached to it, and some basic electrical safety. But I've got a, a bolt here, and another one right here, and a third one right over here. And you can kind of see the, the marks that were made on this thing. Gosh, it looks like it was dropped a couple of times. I don't know. But we'll get that thing knocked out and see if we can get it running again just fine. I don't really have a fence post, which is what I'd use if I wanted to kind of reshape this. I'd just find a, a fence post I could sit it on and, uh, and beat the hell out of it until it kind of gets its shape and lifts it up away from the fan a little bit. So I'm going to try to make do with what I got here and just use this old uh, uh, bench vise and, and see if I can beat on it for a while and uh, get it to pop out a couple of these dents and see if it can get a, a good shape on it again. I'm going to try this out, see what I got. I 
This is a pretty heavy motor. I think it weighs, gosh, it's got to weigh close to 30 pounds, somewhere around there. Let's weigh it up here, see what it says. Yep, 36 and a half pounds. That's how much that thing weighs. So I'm guessing that's how it first got dropped. It was just someone picking it up and maybe trying to one hand it and and uh, it just slipped and broke a bit off there. That sure feels like it's sitting on there a little tight, but it's hard to tell exactly how tight. So I'm going to slip a couple of these little bolts in here, see what we have. should be pulled off of it enough now yeah it's not touching at all now all right we'll tighten these up make sure we kind of pull this back as much as we can so it doesn't interfere again and then uh, we'll test her out, see how it goes. I think that's going to go really easy. Alright, time to test her out. See how it goes. Wow. Brakes work good and everything. I'll let you see that this is a pretty fast motor here. It says it's the CO3509 3450 RPMs on this one horse motor. And I'd say she works. I mean, that's quiet, that's good. Shuts down real fast and everything. Good deal. There may be something else on this where I see there's a little bit of damage in here in that uh, in the keyway there, uh, but it doesn't look like anything that's uh, going to stop it from operating or uh, from holding the pulley on there well. So, well, I suppose that's all I got on this one. It works. That was an easy fix, and oh, I'll put it up for sale. See if I can sell this thing. But if I can't, I might turn this one into a belt grinder. All right. See you guys later. Give me a comment. Let me know what you think. Bye.